Hi Gemini and welcome to my channel. I am an intuitive tarot card reader and this will be your intuitive tarot reading. Three cards using the Shadowscapes tarot here to draw out some messages that may be helpful for you for the upcoming week. If you enjoy this weekly content and you'd like to see more of it on a weekly basis, please feel free to leave behind a like. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I would absolutely welcome you with open arms to my YouTube family, so a big thank you for doing that. Of course, if you were after a private personalized reading, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. My email list of prices and services is listed below the description box. Otherwise, let's get straight into it and have a look and see what's popping up for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Okay, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the upcoming week. Gemini. Okay, the first card you have here is the Hanged Man, followed by the Star. Wow. And the last card you have is the Seven of Cups. Okay, starting off with the hanged man here, this is quite an introverted energy. It's also uh, a time when we feel we've been held in suspense. We, we, we've been waiting for something here. And I love that the star card has come up for us, Gemini, because it does show we are waiting on our destiny or there'll be some sign from the universe that will point us in the right direction here. But look, let's concentrate on the hangman for now. Look, he can represent introverted energy. You may feel like you've been waiting for something. You've been in, you've been held in suspense. You could be waiting on healing because you have the star card. Or waiting to manifest something here because in the background you have the seven of cups. So I feel like the hangman this week, you might feel like the beginning of the week starts off a little bit slow. Things are imbalanced here. Things have been turned on their head. You're trying to make things work with someone here. You're trying to see eye to eye with this person. But for some reason, something isn't working here for you. So you may find that there'll be a shift, a beautiful shift, might I add, with the star card here uh, that will work in your favor. Some of you have been left hanging um, for a response, um, for a callback, uh, for a text message, for communication, uh, to receive word of something here. You might be awaiting news of some kind. I do believe it'll, it, it'll come uh, because you have the star card here and which does bring hope, magic and things uh, to our circumstances. I feel if you've been dealing with someone here romantically um, and they've been sort of leave, leaving you hanging, um, there is going to be an opportunity to shine or a new, uh, an opportunity to make another impression, for example, or an opportunity to give, um, to give credence or to put something in the limelight once again because of that star card. So I feel like there's a major shift happening. And what's interesting is that they both, they both face each other, Gemini. You can see the hangman faces the star um, and this, uh, this beautiful, what looks like a priestess here, faces the hangman. Again, trying to see eye to eye with someone, even though you might be taking different approaches. This is certainly very powerful. I feel as though it's um, some of you, you're meeting someone. Um, it could be like a twin flame soulmate, someone that you're destined to meet. That's for sure with the, des uh, with the star card, which is seen as the destined card. I feel as though you're coming from different directions and you cross, your, your paths will cross with someone you're destined to meet, destined to encounter from some direction you didn't even see coming, Gemini. It's completely like this is coming from above, this is coming from the ground, and then all of a sudden the two of you find this happy medium, you cross paths, and something significant will result in this. So this is very nice to see. So I do feel if you have felt imbalanced in the sense where you've had a confrontation with a friend, uh, a lover, a spouse, someone you work with, um, if there's been something that's that has made you feel like the hangman, I, f I feel you'll find resolution with the star card because that is a cleansing energy. It's the sign of an Aquarius, so I'm not sure if there's an Aquarius in the picture for some of you. Um, those that are dealing with an Aquarius, I think you've got destined wonderful things happening for you. But look, regardless what sign you're dealing with here, Geminis, I'm seeing with the star card here, there is some sort of healing, closure, reconciliation. There's hope. Hope for a future or hope for, to, uh, for the two of you to be together. Um, it also points to fame, being out there in the public eye, people noticing your talents, people knowing your name, putting a, a creative idea or you're launching your business to the World Wide Web, um, international fame recognition or expansion here with the star card, star quality, destiny, fate, the universe, things aligning in your stars, finally finding compatibility between yourself and someone you're involved in, a friend, a lover someone from your past 
So I really love what this represents. I, I do feel like there's a destined uh, meeting happening for you in the upcoming week. Destined events, places, circumstances. Pay attention to the opportunities, the invites that you'll receive over the coming week, weekend. They could lead you to someone destined, someone that is um, destined to cross paths with you for one reason or another. So this is quite powerful. I feel like you'll be... Um, You'll, you'll rise up again. I feel if you haven't, you know, hit a home run at work or you haven't felt praise or you've sort of been on the back burner or you haven't felt very popular or suddenly this is a secret admirer is coming to the forefront. Suddenly this is all attention is on you. Suddenly this is you basking in that star quality energy. This is you being seen as the star. Um, and emotionally, you'll enjoy it. You've got Pisces, which is, you know, the fish, emotion, sensitivity, mysticism. I do believe spirituality, religion may play a huge part for you here in the upcoming week. They may help you. It might just be your solace, Gemini, for something you might be going through with the star card. Uh, in particular, if you do have a water sign around you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the cups have come up. Uh, I do believe there's healing taking place. Aquarian energy is the water bearer. He tries to cleanse and, and um, inundate and get rid of any toxins or anything that's sort of been... Um, you know, purging the relationship that has been toxically eating, eating up a connection or a relationship here. So some of you, um, I think this is a spiritual uh, message with these two cards. If, it, if we look into the internal spiritualism and, and enlightenment and things like that, gems, I, I do believe this is happening here for you. So there's a wonderful shift that's happening in your favor. Um, the star card really is bringing destined events. Um, and, and, you know, it's just a feel. It's a feeling of feeling good and feeling hopeful about something. And especially if you've come out of a rut, this is a very big comeback. OK, this is you. Um, turning back around, turning everything around in the most positive, the most hopeful, the most magical of ways. So that's really beautiful. You do also have the seven of cups. So that's why I was leaning towards a connection with another other, with another person. You can see these two people here looking further afield. They both have the same goal, but their approaches are a little bit different. And again, coming together through different approaches, but making it work. So look, I think the end goal is very similar for the both of you. Whether this is a friend, this is a business partner, and you're overlooking plans, business plans, or a contract of some kind here, or this is someone romantically you're involved with. The Seven of Cups says it's all about a vision. And this is the vision up here. So I said on the prize here, uh, someone will pop into your life, possibly in the upcoming week. Um, and I feel like they're going to help create your future. They're going to play a somewhat significant role for you um, in the upcoming week. But it's about teamwork and, and building things together. And, you know, you, you've had these milestones behind you. This is this is the next level up. And I do believe it's a connection with someone, whether romantic, professional or platonic. Uh, you see all these, you've you've encountered them, and each time you've gotten higher and higher. Um, and it's almost like, reminds you of that song, um, Your Love Keeps Lifting Me Higher and Higher. And it's just you, the both of you actually, evolving in a very powerful way. You've got big plans here, Gemini. Um, it's almost like the star, the star energy, the star card will fund your dreams. Um, this is the stuff dreams are made of, okay? Because you've already attended those milestones. You've already encountered them. You've endured them. You've succeeded. And on to the next one, onto something bigger, better. Something that seems at such a distance, Gemini, but not really. Not really because it's going to be in your hands. You're going to have it. You're going to celebrate it. So especially, it's just going to be such a massive transition, if you have or will be encountering that hangman energy because we encounter the hangman and then we follow the cards consecutively and then we've got the healing that takes place with the star card and then that seven of cups next level you'll manifest what it is that you've been wanting it's all about um hope and magic being invested within yourself and also with someone that you're dealing with um but it's also big goals, big plans for a business career, uh, for a business ambition, a career ambition, um, a hobby. You're, tr you're challenging, um, reaching the next level. Um, you know, it's the star card that will see it through. You'll reach, you'll reach, you know, this is the highest of the high. This is a higher realm. Now, this, of course, could be spiritually for some of you. But my, what a 360, what a change 
this, this these three cards can indicate in the upcoming week there's just a major change and you're completely coming out of your shell and the, the star the fact that it sits in the middle um it's just a perfect reading gemini i'm really excited for you have a fantastic week ahead and we'll chat soon bye for now